Hello, good day everyone. So this is a recorded video for the So the content of module two is uh, standard signal conditions, speed of sounds, clock number, and previous number. So the main content now, uh, module two is So my question is, module one now, but two, two to ask me, it's after me. Kaya uh, email or messenger. I have two accounts kasi, sorry dun sa mga hindi ko na directly yan. Since yung message is parang ano na. Ano ko, kung pwede yung messages, same question. So, nag-prepare pa yung dun sa, or nag-chat ako sa presentative nyo. So, kung ano naman yung concern na personal, no? Message yung isa kong account, which is yung may contact question ako, okay? So, kung may question, Okay lang naman ako, no? uh, feel free to ask, okay? So, uh, for this video to, mag-move uh, dyan yun. So, okay, let's start. Uh, first is, uh, standard, uh, standard syllable conditions, no? Uh, pressure, density, and temperature natin. So, uh, ano lang, no? kaya makikin dito yung uh, constant natin, or the values of our pressure density and temperature sa sinaga. So, nakita itong viscosity natin, no? Uh, ano rin yan? Uh, si uh, standard si level, pero may uh, problema yan. Yan may agad yung viscosity. Kasi, uh, gabarin dyan yung temperature. So, later on yung sarili yung sarili. Uh, Papagit ako yung formula nyo. But, in standard si level natin, ito ang viscosity natin. And then, we have this uh, standard value of temperature of tax. Uh, lambda. Which is negative zero point three zero six five or negative zero six point five degrees Kelvin Celsius per minute or zero point zero zero five six six Kelvin per feet okay or foot. So ah, anda ani yan so yung dami kami sa variation natin once ah yung altitude natin ay tumataas or there ah we have change in height okay. So, recap lang talaga ito ng aerodynamics nyo. Next is ang atmosphere. So, um, recap lang talaga no? yung ano natin, yung layers ng atmosphere natin. Ang first is ng troposphere. So, dito sa troposphere, no? dito nangyayari no? lahat ng uh, ano natin, yung weather. No? So, dyan nagpukong ang layer ng weather natin. So, yung layer ko din sa box 25%. Of total mass of the atmosphere. So, these were all plants and animals live and live. So, ang height niya is from 0 kilometers to 11 kilometers. So, dyan tayo nagsusog mo ang changes na rin. Since the tropo na yun is what the tropo means change sa atmosphere. Yung mga nagbabagi dyan. And, hindi dyan yung magdapag yung mga plano natin. Next is our stratosphere. So, the second layer of our earth. So, Ito yung uh, we have uh, as a term of region na dito. Because our, ang ginagamit natin ng temperature is constant na 216.7 Kelvin or 390 Fahrenheit. So this layer of task with the focus will mix up the 99% ng total mass of the atmosphere natin. So <clears throat> yun lang lang yung status ko natin as a term of region. Okay? So nandiyan yun yung ang ginagay natin. Then yung sosphere no, means na Either, no? So, mga rin so, it is either. So, makita natin sa video natin, sa bitna siya, ng mga uh, layers ng atmosphere natin. And then, uh, ito na pinakikita niyo, ang mga common stars and pictures and the good there, no? no? Kapag may ipapasok sa mga debris, galing sa uh, outer space. And then, we have thermosphere. So, dito sa thermosphere, no? we will see. So, mainit yung part na no? So, uh, ito rin yung uh, <coughs> nakikita ang mga aurora at yapis natin. And then, uh, actually, mabas ko sa board exam niyo, ang sa board exam namin pala, which is uh, yung aurora of the is uh, so ang daw nakikita yung aurora of the so it's in thermosphere. So, basic po, PC1 point na rin doon. And then, next is ionosphere. So, ionosphere is pinapagitaan niya ng thermosphere at exosphere. So, uh, word from uh, word itself no iron no iron iron is uh, iron is layer na yan which contains plasma so uh, din ba ang mga solar radiation and uh, radio propagation to distant based on the light so yung mga atin 
kung saan ka life stand ka din dyan. No? So, the uh, last layer is the exosphere, which is the outside, so means outside or out. So, it's the outer shell, so exosphere. Diba? So, the highest layer of atmosphere. So, hanggang roon, no? uh, hanggang outside uh, space ko siya. So, sa aeronautical engineer, no? yung pinag-aaral natin is from troposphere and stratosphere. No? Okay. And then, no? uh, pagkuha ng left side natin, no? so left side is plus 2, change in time over change in height. So, yun lang yun. Left side natin, which nag-aaral tayo, integrate by height or your change in height. You will get this for the left. So, mawa natin from the top. So, basic aerodynamics lang, no? Kung saan, saan siya nagaling or saan siya nagaling. Okay? And then, uh, we have a pressure uh, pressure altitude the variation, no? So, <clears throat> sa, ano, yes, as uh, height changes kasi sa, ano natin, sa, sa, uh, atmosphere or statusphere, ano, nagbabago yung mga pressure density and then, and, uh, temperature. So, Saan galing yun? Saan galing siya? Saan galing siya sa hydrostatic equation from uh, simple force yung spastoli. So, pinag-alit ano na ko? Pinag-alit ko. And then, yung ako atay ng weight is was 2 rho kg. Which is learn all yung inner gravity. So, uh, in-equate lang yun. So, since uh, volume is my time to time side and uh, equal lang yun sa unit natin na 1 times 1 the spatial height same as per unit yan kumbaga nga if yan is 1 unit or kumbaga per unit then uh, equate lang natin sa summation of forces natin and we'll get the hydrostatic equation which is ginagamit natin sa uh, pagkuha ng pressure density variation natin so later on ang makita natin dito sa powerpoint and then uh, ano lang equate mo lang sya no? uh, uh, integrate ng height no, sa hydrostatic, uh, hydro, hydrostatic equation natin and in our equation of state. So, ano lang yan? Sama-sama. No? So, focus here is on gradient region. So, mga one at all. From lala to, we have uh, pressure at certain height over uh, pressure after uh, uh, C is plus 2. Uh, temperature at height over temperature of your SSLC. No? Uh, raise to negative gear over lambda r. So, lambda r din yan. Tapos yung kami ni lambda. No? Yung lab strip mo. So, sinunod yun. Density. Okay? And then, no? may plate lang din yan. We have uh, sa isothermal region naman where temperature is constant. No? So, uh, yung temperature na nilagabit natin dyan, uh, yung isa na lang. No? Kung baga, yung sinabi ko kanina, kanina sa constant sa stratosphere natin. And then, equate na natin yan, gabi natin sa, uh, equate natin sa height, and then, in our uh, question of state. So, makuha natin yung uh, formula for our pressure at uh, isotermal region, okay? Our density, kaya sa isotermal region. So, basic, uh, recap lang talaga yung uh, uh, basic region. And then, equate lang sa mga uh, sa mga uh, formulas. So, pressure altitude no, correspond to ambient pressure and measured by the ambient pressure. So, kapag may question, binigyan ka lang uh, <clears throat> galing doon sa altimeter. So, it's the pressure altitude mo. No? And then, we have density altitude no, corresponds to the ambient density. So, same with temperature altitude no, corresponds to the ambient temperature. Yung 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 condition mo. Kung mm -hmm. nasa ang level ka. Okay, so here, makita niyo yung summary of our formulas of our region region and isothermal region. Okay? So, um, it's, uh, yung, uh, slide two. And then, uh, sample number one. So, dito, no? Uh, try mo. So, actually, uh, yung samples dito is pinarecitation to. Yung sa mga face-to-face -face and umatid na synchronous classes. But for others na hindi pa, so, uh, may chance naman kayo, no? we have uh, four weeks pa para magkaroon ng recitation. So today, uh, try to solve lang. It, actually, may nagtanong nung no, nagsabi sa akin na pwede daw bang, ano, ikakokopyan ko yung mga sample problems na binigay ko sa module. So, 
guys, ano lang yun, ba, sample lang sa inyo, makita nyo paano siya sinuot, yung practice sarili nyo, yung talagang sasagutan nyo yung sa last part. So, yun lang yung copy and answer nyo. So, uh, mamaya explain ko rin sa module ko, ano mangyari kasi na uh, medyo magkaiba-iba yung format nyo. No? I mean, yung iba na kumapya ng question or yung problem, yung iba solution na kung given required and solution. So, may explain ko mabuti. So, for now, no? I-solve muna ninyo yung itong sa slide natin. Baka sa video natin. I just post the video and try to solve then check mo na lang kung tama yung solid mo. So, an aircraft is flying at an altitude of 9 kilometers from the ground. So, compute for the temperature, pressure, and density of the air. So, ano lang mo? Uh, given ba lang height? So, isosolve mo lang yung temperature, pressure, and density mo. So, we are given na height ako ng first and required mo. Temperature, pressure, and your density at that height. So, simply input uh, mo yung input mo yung givens mo. Okay. And you find your uh, temperature at uh, 9 kilometers. And then, same with your pressure. No? Basic na siya. Input na siya. And then, you have your density. So, make sure no, na pareho-pareho yung uh, units mo. No? So, huwag kayong malito sa inyo. Okay? So, basic lang. Next, an aircraft is flying at an altitude where the temperature is constant. So, if the ambient pressure is uh, 20,000 Pascal, what is the pressure altitude? So, nga nabigot is yung pressure altitude natin. Yung height, diba? So, assume specific response that is at standard condition. So, basic, laruin na natin yung uh, uh, formula natin. So, post nyo yung video and try to solve yung practice kung, kung naalala nyo pa. Okay, so if we're done, no, try to check the video. Okay, muna. Then, uh, try to check your answer. Correct. Okay, so you can try now pressure at uh, 20,000 Pascal. So, sabi dito, diba, no? Where the temperature is constant. So, nasa ang kaya siya, diba? Temperature constant is nasa isoplanology. So, yung specific gas constant natin is 287.08 joules over kilogram per Kelvin. So, required natin is the pressure altitude. The solution, uh, try mo lang find yung uh, temperature mo at 11 kilometers. And then, you'll find 216.66 Kelvin. So, next is, uh, try to input mo lang yung sa, uh, ano mo, sa pressure mo. Diba? So, try to find your uh, pressure at 11 kilometers since kailangan natin siya sa uh, formula natin for uh, exothermal region. So, we get uh, pressure at uh, 11 kilometers which is 22,606.82 33 Pascal. So, so after now, no, we input lang siya uh, sa formula din, find the height. Actually, pwede ka naman mag-shift so, no? So, wag ka lang malito. And then, uh, Explain ko lang din naman kung paano pa na din gamit. So, we will get uh, 11,776.81 na height natin. So, dito, ba't magkaroon ng LM siya? Dito, uh, problem natin kung kung alam niya talaga or hindi kayo gumamit ang siya. So, so, basically, uh, gamit na rin ang sa logarithmic function natin na L1 is plus 2 1, di ba? So, yan lang yun. No? And then, hindi na siya. So, what's the one? So, uh, logarithmic, uh, logarithmic function natin. And then, uh, di ba, any number raised to 4. So, yan is 4 yun. Lalabas yan is 4. So, yung time sa calculator nyo. So, yan yung ano. Kaya naging ganyan. Yung negative G. Kasi ginamit mo na kailan yung both sides natin. Para makansin yung uh, natin. Uh, Ano natin? Yung, uh, yung sa E natin, no? Para ma mawala siya. So, type na siya ng L, L, okay? And then, uh, yung E, yung E, okay, yung wala siya ng slip aside plate. So, yung nga, nakawala natin yung 11,776.81. It's, ah, uh, 51.55 meters. Okay, so next uh, question natin. No? Try to solve natin. An aircraft is flying at altitude where temperature is constant. So, if the ambient density is 0.00 per 5 slack per uh, cube, 
what is the density of the cube? So assume specific circumstances at standard condition. So we can go now look now. Uh, density, density mo, so yung anak ng yung density altitude. So para lang kanina, pero dito is yung density na. So kanina, di ba is pressure. So what's your video? Okay, so so yung naalala nyo pa. Okay. So, uh, same process and then but in density, you will get 0 0.0078 per cube, no? At 11 kilometers mo. Pero guys, no? Uh, what? Kaya kaya hindi huwag yung ano, huwag yung abisay. Pwede yung abisa doon pala. Yung 11 kilometers yung pressure in your density. Pero, no, kung makalimutan nyo yan, na maligay ng isang number ng ganyan, mag-iiba na. So, yung discrepancy ng mga sabit nyo. So, mas okay na alam nyo yung formula. No? Kesa sa uh, i-memorize nyo lang yung uh, value niya at 11 pesos. So, Uh, same na ano na same na process no is measured in the stats uh, isothermal region na formula in density so same na naman yun lang so pressure natin so dito may nagtanong no guys sa uh, slug per foot cube sabi niya sir bakit ganun na ginawa niyang ba't niya ginawang uh, si, uh, ano to uh, met, uh, English then dito metric so kasi dito guys no sa dito is ratio na siya ratio lang siya na Uh, density density mo at 11 kilometers at ang density at that height kung ano yung hinahanap ko yung isang level siya diba? ratio lang yan kahit maging ano yan maging uh, convert to pen sa metric no? or, or, or ayun nga sa metric no? same lang yan na ratio nila na lalabas so makuha natin to and then uh, pwede na pwede na makuha yung ship sold but uh, yun na huwag lang kayo malito then we'll get height of 13,369.799 Leo meters. Okay? Next is we do some. So basic lang, di ba? Uh, Recap lang. Talaga. Ng, talaga din ng uh, pressure density temperature variation. So sa uh, speed of sound, okay? sound waves travel to the air at the speed of sound. The speed of sound. And that is called the speed of sound. So this is obvious from our short observation natin, di ba? So, for example, kapag kumit natin, bago umano, makikita muna natin yung light bago uh, dumating yung sound. So, let's speed of sound. Kung paano siya uh, dumating. So, it depends on me, its temperature and composition. And it is varies from substance to substance. So, let's travel siya through air. Yung speed of sound sa akin. So, uh, basically, galing natin siya. Ang galing natin speed of sound natin. So, galing natin siya din sa Uh, ito sa equation natin with our equation state charge sa uh, P2 tube kung naalala nyo ba. Yes, uh, so actually sa continuity so continuity no? kasi di ba may ano doon from ambient ka po sa P2 tube natin so, so doon lang nandiyan yun. Okay? So we have also uh, ano, we have also this P2 uh, sum natin dalawa. So, simply galing na yun sa uh, natin. Sa uh, pressure pressure is equal to ORT. ORT yung base. So, hindi mo lang yan. Ito yung uh, basic algebra. So, ilipat mo lang yun siya dyan. And then, ORT. Okay? So, yun lang yun. No? Tapos, substitute mo lang siya dyan. So, speed of sound pressure that's the basic based on your temperature. So, is it ba? So, next is, yo, sa so, phone number na under time, sa so, phone number one. So, the ambient temperature at which the aircraft is flying is 300 Kelvin. So, assume that the air is at a standard condition, no? And your uh, specific tip, no? The ratio is 1.38. What is the speed of sound? So, 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 the speed of sound natin, so, I'll learn na na, the speed of sound is supposed to square the SCRP. And then, no, kapag ang, kunyari sa question, hindi given yung uh, specific heat ratio mo, no, eh, ang gagamitin natin is 1.4, okay? So, next is, uh, anak natin yung speed of sound natin, temperature, plus to 300 uh, Kelvin, uh, which is our specific heat ratio is 1.38, and our uh, gas constant is 287.08 goes per kilogram Kelvin. So, ano mo lang siya, input mo lang sa formula mo, so, di ba, may sagot siya na basic na dito. Okay, 
So, uh, we will get the other for the four from 74 to the meter per second. Okay, that's our speed of sound. And then, uh, next question, the speed of sound at which an airplane is flying is 360 meter per second. So, compute for the ambient temperature. If the specific gas constant is at standard position, uh, specific heat ratio is equal to 1.9. So, ang nga na pa natin dito, no? Is the ambient temperature. So, imagine nyo na kung paano siya. So, pag sister of the ART, yung paano natin yun, ambient temperature. Oh. So, just this algebra din, equate mo lang, transfer sa formulas. And then, in for the given, you'll get temperature 324.7725 Kelvin. So, no, kung ano, try to solve talaga siya. Pos mo yung video, then uh, i-claim mo kapag tapos ka ng so, kasi uh, itong mga concepts na to no, magagamit natin siya kung sa tingin ng super uh, ano natin normal shock wave and oblique shock wave kung baga doon sama-sama na kaya natin i-review lang sa previous to kasi nga uh, para hindi tayo malito okay so next uh, compute the ambient pressure with the values of the speed of sound and ambient density are 1,131 feet per second and 0.0018 or T-snub per it Q, no, just as uh, respectively. Assume the gas constant is 17, 16 foot pound per slab runtime, and your specific ratio is 1.8. So, dito, no, uh, alay mo yung ano, pwede to explore ambient pressure. So, di ba meron tayo, uh, speed of sound is plus 2, square of PRT, and uh, meron din tayo dun na kapag uh, indicate natin sa equation of state, yeah. Uh, speed of sound is equal to square of K or your specific ratio times your pressure of your density. So, kung nagagamitin natin, uh, kung putan natin sa parang natin, we will get pressure uh, of uh, 1,700.32 pound per square foot. So, hindi pa guys, kung may gumamit din ng ano, kinuha niya pa yung temperature niya, tapos input niya sa equation of state, so okay din naman yun. As long na tama yung sagot mo. Okay. Oh, so, yun lang. Mas mahaba na siya. Pero dito, recta, direct pa. Pero, goods pa rin naman. Yun. Okay na siya. So, yun lang. No? Yung solving. No? Try to, try to think, no? Uh, ng formula niya. Okay? Or, kung paano siya pa ito tingkitin. So, McCumber. So, another vital definition for high-speed gas flow sa side of speed of sound as you are. McCumber is defined as the ratio of the speed of the body. The speed of sound in the surrounding region. So it is primarily used to determine the approximation which the flow can be treated as incompressible and compressible. So, dati di ba na nasabi ko na kung paano yung i-define yung uh, flow nung if it's compressible or compressible. So, nasabi na. Uh, yung speed ni daw, yung velocity is at 100 meters per second. And then, yung sabi ko ng uh, Mach number at 0.3 above, no, above 0.3. So, then guys, no, uh, okay naman yun, impressive yun. But uh, actually, may mga uh, contradicting yun, ito solve ng 100 meters per second kasi ito si Nico siya, mag using your speed of sound, hindi siya abot ng 0.3. Okay? So, mas prefer, mas, mas ginagamit yung Mach number talaga ng 0.3 above 0.3 as a result. So, uh, simply, no, formula ng Mach number natin is Mach number is equals to your velocity of the body of the, of the object over the speed of sound. So, uh, Mach number is one of the most powerful quantities in aerodynamics. So, you can use it and you can define the three different regimes of aerodynamic flows. So, we have Mach flow at the sonic, Mach is plus the one the flow is sonic, and um, more than one is the flow in supersonic. So, mas, ano pa, no? mas Mas, uh, may may mas mabis pa dyan is yung hypersonic. And then may ano pa yun, no? may, may may situation na kung saan yung transonic transport, transonic speed. So susunod nung i-discuss natin yun later on once we reach sa normal shock wave and your object shock wave. Okay? So, uh, sample problem agad tayo. So, try to post the video, read mo yung ano, read mo yung basahin mo yung problem then. Uh, try to solve, okay? So, the airplane is traveling at an altitude with a Mach number of 0 0.42. If the ambient temperature is 500, 550 Rankine, specific heat ratio is 
the specific gas constant is 716.5 percent. All right, then what is the velocity of the airplane? So, simply, diba? Yung, ano natin, yung formulas for Mach number is, uh, Mach number is equal to velocity of the air, speed of sound. So, if you know, yan. So, continue the video, kung tapos ka nun. So, then, try to check the answer is correct. So, so, mga tayo sa word. Makukuha natin na, speed of sound is 479.3. 332, 36 foot per second. So, yung speed ng airplane natin. So, basic lang, di ba? Direct yung load na lang. So, next problem, no? Try, try to post a video and try na kapag nasa load na. Okay? So, practice lang. Uh, try to elaborate mo at uh, pabalik-balik ka rin yung mga formula mo. No? So, compute the Mach number of one aircraft flying with the velocity of 115 meter per second. With all air dynamic tank is at a standard, uh, at the standard sea level condition. So assume the value of the specific test constant and specific equation to be 287.08 joules per kilogram Kelvin and 1.29 uh, joules in specific heat machines. Uh, specific heat ratio is 1.29. So, sabi mo, kung ito yung yung Mach number mo. So, let's see. No? So, Sa so, pamilya natin na speed of PRT, you'll get your uh, speed of sound, which is 240.31 centimeters per second. Then, input mo lang no, yung uh, speed natin dun sa uh, Mach number formula natin. And you'll get Mach of 0 0.4408. So, yan yung sabot natin. Okay. Next is our Reynolds number. So, yun yung uh, Reynolds number. It's the ratio of inertial forces to viscous forces to be a fluid which is subjected to relative internal movement due to different fluid velocities. So, it's important to mention this number to the impact of the dynamic equal to those of the Mach number. So, sa natin ginagamit ang Reynolds number natin. So, try to remember these are solid or in the dynamics. No? Ginagamit natin siya sa aminar or turbulence flow. So, may identify natin lang which Kasi nga, yung discuss flow natin, yung Reynolds number natin, mag-identify kung malaki yung drag natin. So, here's a picture na nangyari sa fluid natin. So, dito, uh, Reynolds number as na is your RE, X is the length, no? sa phase intensity mo, no? yung raw, specific equation mu, no? or yung discuss, uh, viscosity, and uh, phase term velocity, VCLP. Okay? So, dito makita natin, no? So, given di ba tayo kanina sa standard sea level natin ng um, viscosity natin, learning mean. Yun, sa standard sea level, you guys. So, try to remember this formula, no? Makuha yan sa, sa ano natin. Yung kasi, uh, nagbabari ang viscosity natin sa temperature. So, dito sa taas, yung 2.329 times 10 may uh, raise to negative 8, no? Times the temperature. Okay, so, 3 halves over temperature plus 116. This is your, what? This is your English, English motor. This is English or imperial unit. Then, when, sa ano naman, sa, sa soba, in 1.45, 8 times 10, raise to negative 6. And this temperature is 3 halves over temperature plus 110.4. Uh, uh, temperature, no? So, uh, then yung diagram natin yung metric or SMEs. Okay? So, sabi dito, sa diagram natin, as a picture natin, uh, sa liquid and gas. So, as, as your, as uh, sa gas, no? sa gas, as temperature rises, yung, yung gas natin, ay yung viscosity ng gas natin is giving intact. So, ba, nagbibigit yung mga molecules natin, no? Kaya tayo nagkakaroon ng gas no? sa air. So, mas mabilis ka, Mas tataas yung temperature mo, so tataas ang viscosity mo. Sa, sa liquid naman, balik din siya, no? As, as uh, your temperature increases, no? As, as your temperature increases uh, sa liquid, no? your viscosity, your viscosity decreases. So, mas nagiging dense siya. Okay? So, yun yung pinakaayaw ng liquid in our gas or sa viscosity. And, sa pagamit ng Reynolds number. So, sample number one, no? Agad, uh, consider the flow of air over a small plate that is 5 cm long. The phase stream condition corresponds no, 
standard sea level and the flow velocity is 120 meter per second. So calculate the removes number. So ito po lang yan, hinahanap pa naman din is your removes number given na lang lahat. Okay? So, try ito po sa video, no, try ito so kung matanda mo yung formula. No? And then, uh, play the video, kapag tapos ka natin, try to check your answer kung tama ka. So with that, uh, Reynolds number na 400, uh, 410,745.65. So they mentioned this naman yung Reynolds number na din. And yung kanina, no, sa viscosity natin, no, kung given ka ng ampun temperature mo, so on that level, no, so mag-iba yung viscosity mo. So try to be aware of that, okay, guys? And then, uh, sa activity natin, pagtapos na, no? so sa apat na topics na, no? from SSLC to our um, SSLC, our speed of sound, Mach number, and resonance number, and number, so it's a basic aerodynamics concept naman. So, yan yung maging module to nyo. So, uh, you will have in a quiz no, next week, no? I'll be announcing in your uh, Google Classroom about the quiz nyo. No? Uh, same with face-to-face uh, -face and online. So, so sa mga nag-OJT, no? try to answer no, sa free time. No? So, home day ko naman yung mag mag open next week. So, uh, sabay ng upload ng video na to is yung module 2. So, uh, same pa rin. No? Same pa rin uh, guidelines no? sa pagsusol. But, yun nga, no? try to, ano talaga, siya sabi ko is, happy na answer siya, guys. Yung happy na answer yung module 2, no? Okay? And then, yung sa questions, sa so pag-write ng questions, it's, it's up to you kung, kung magiging, ano siya, kung magiging uh, type-written siya or hand-written or digital-written. So, but the solvings should be in hand-written. So, dapat yung hand-written yung solutions nyo. Okay? Okay lang sa akin yung problems is uh, digital or type-written. So, so, may iba namang nagpasa, no? Na hand-written. So, okay lang din naman. Wala namang, ano yun, Mura ano sa grades. Eh? Ay kasi yung ganyan siya. So, okay lang yun guys. So, sa module 1, no? okay lang sa akin kahit hindi siya ka-finance. But, in the next module, module 2, module 2, module 4, uh, magiging, ano na siya, magiging uh, ka-finance na siya. And then, uh, I'll be sending your technical report. No? So, technical report is basic lang, no? na uh, yung mga ano, parang reaction paper na natutunan nyo sa uh, module 1 and module 2. No? So, uh, I'll be sending a format. So, yun naman. Uh, pwede din, ano, pwede din type written or hand written. So, lagi mo na dyan kung ano yung natutunan mo formula, saan siya ginagamit. Basta kung ano yung, ano yung content ng uh, reaction paper niya sa module 1 and module 2. Kung talagang may natutunan kaya So, nalagay niya lang doon. So, I'll be sending din yung format, no? Ng, ano, ng magiging technical report. Okay. So, yun lang naman guys, no? For our uh, module 2, basically, uh, review of basic aerodynamics, no? And then, uh, uh, kung may mga questions, no? Sa dito, no? Sa, sa video na to, uh, okay lang naman. Uh, feel free to ask, no? Huwag kayong magya. So, yun nga rin sabi ko, uh, sa email ko or in my messenger, yung isang mga ako na Michael Tanya French na lang. So, yung Michael Jean kasi, uh, dun yung sawad ko eh, yung mga um, personal ko din na account. So, dun naman, pwede ko naman kayong ma-message na. And your uh, representative, try to chat them. No? As na may saan nila. So, prepare for quiz. This, yung magiging quiz 1 nyo. Uh, module 1 and module 2. A combination na. So, that will be your uh, if 1. Okay? So, so probably Friday din yun. So, itong module to nyo, uh, ipas yun na din siya ng Thursday or Friday. So, sa face-to-face, -face, Thursday talaga. So, sa mga mag-OJT, Friday yung deadline niya. Okay? So, thank you guys for watching. No? Thank you for listening. And sa uh, next time naman, module 3 and module 4. So, good luck. No? Madali lang talaga ang prelims niya. So, yun lang kung question, sabi na sa Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye.